just got back from Katira. So I opened my season just a, a European Cup in Portugal. I wanted to do that because the build in sort of level of race and just wanted to get one out of the way early season so that I would have enough time to make any changes if I needed, you know, if I needed to. March seems like really early to race now, but got it done and it went pretty well. Felt good coming off the back of a big block, and I think, you know, I I went in with the the goal of you know being towards the front end of that race, and I think I did that. And I I wouldn't say I controlled it, but I was definitely felt in control. Yeah, so happy with that. It shows like where everything's at. So obviously, swim is in a good place. <laughs> Sim is in a good place. The bike focus I've done has, has clearly worked. More like, I just felt more confident, comfortable in that kind of environment. Obviously I haven't done a huge amount of running. It showed that the swimming, swimming and biking that I have done has, has not changed my run. So yeah, I was happy with how it all came together and it was just good to go through the motions again. And, and just, because I find when you're away from racing that long, it's just, you kind of forget a little bit and it's, it takes a bit of practice to get back into it. So I'm glad I didn't leave it too long and it was, it was good. So happy with that. I think I just like committed. I didn't get panicked at any point. I felt like I was, you know, pulling turns the whole cycle. And even though not many people wanted to work, but I was making sure that I was because I, I wanted to almost get a good training day out of it as well and see how I would run off the bike on tired legs. So yeah, no, I'm happy with how I committed myself and uh, I'm just happy with the result. It was solid, I thought. T2, I just seemed to have a bit of a mental block with that. So I mean, it was better, but it still needs to be better. So I can't be getting the world to see these girls five seconds in transition. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was good, solid. Yeah, so obviously next block I've got about a six week block now, six, seven week block where I've got uh, racing every other week. So it's just about managing training loads. So I've been a bit tired this week, um, but I'm just trying to get a good 10 days in before I've got to kind of ease off again. And that's the way it'll kind of look for the next six weeks, just 10, 10 day block and then a couple of league days into Super League and then same again. So first Super League is on the 9th of April in Munich. I've been there before obviously for the outdoor Super League but this one will be indoors. And yeah I have been doing some swim to bike practice so at the end of either my VO2 on a Tuesday or my threshold on Thursday I've been getting out and just doing three to five minute effort on the bike which is about what you're gonna have in Super League. I actually haven't done a load of bike to run and I hadn't done any bike to run really before the race of the weekend. So I'm gonna to look to do that, obviously starting today and carry that through. The weather's been a bit rubbish here in Leeds today, so it'll be a terrible for me. So that makes it easier to run off. So I'll run off my, my bike session today. Yeah, I think with Super League, it will fine tune the VO2 anyway. By doing a little bit before, I'm gonna get better as the, as the weeks go on in the racing anyway. Yeah, so I've got Munich, which is in just over a week, and then in three weeks, London, and then in five weeks, Singapore. And they're all indoor arena games, hopefully flying to Yokohama the week after Singapore. And that's obviously uh, Olympic distance World Series. It's, so it's slightly different this year. I'm not 100% sure how it works, but we've got briefing in, a, in about a week. So it's more, it's in the triathlon order, so swim, bike, run, and then it's reverse, run, bike, swim. And then I think it's pursuit start, so as a triathlon again, so depending on your accumulated time, yeah, so you'll be set off in, in individually, I guess. My swimming has moved on loads, so hopefully, you know, that the first one, my main competitor, I think, is Jess, so she'll be difficult to beat in the pool, obviously. But I think the gap is smaller. So the training week, just keeping it the same, to be honest. Um, still doing the same as what I was doing before. I think the swims are probably over the last week or so, they have been a little bit more like punchier, a little bit more short end. Still the same amount of volume, but the reps have been, there's been more reps because we're doing shorter distances. And so getting a little bit longer recovery. So just trying to fine tune like that top end, which is what you do in race season anyway. Yeah, the threshold has reduced a little bit as well, just by about 500 meters. So still didn't make it feel any easier this morning though. <laughs> and then I think I'm just gonna stick with the track. I've spoken to Hendo, we're just gonna stick with the longer and bigger volume on Tuesday of the track, just because it's my only run session of the week. And bike, 
similar again, just make, making sure I get the VO2 in once a week, you know, some sort of race type slash special day session as well. I was actually, I wasn't really feeling up for it, to be honest with you. I think because it was just so early and when we arrived in Portugal, the weather wasn't great. But as soon as I got down to the to do the race recce's for the swim and the bike on the Friday, I was completely different. I was really looking forward to it. So yeah, I think it's good to get one out of the way and it was lower key, it was not as big hype around it. So that also helps. <laughs>